This tutorial will introduce you to sketch constraints. You will gain a basic understanding of the value of sketch constraints as you discover how they provide location accuracy, relational accuracy, symmetrical accuracy, and many other benefits. Some sketch constraints are used to apply relationships between figures, for example, perpendicular, tangent, parallel, and equal size. Other constraints are applied to individual figures, including those that control a figure's orientation. For example, horizontal or vertical and dimension. Since this is an overview, not all of the sketch constraints will be shown. When sketching, it is helpful to have status hints turned on so a Libre can tell you what it's looking for during the sketching process. Figures may be constrained automatically as they are sketched or may be set with constraint tools from the 2D sketching ribbon. The available sketch constraints are fixed, symmetric, co-radial, collinear, equal, coincident, perpendicular, concentric, intersection, vertical, horizontal, midpoint, tangent, and parallel. Several sketch constraints can be used within the same sketch. When you make a box by sketching four lines, the vertical and horizontal constraints get populated automatically. You can also make this box symmetric about the x-y axes with the symmetrical constraint. The line selected immediately after selecting the axes determines the length, angle, and distance from the axes for the second line selected, essentially creating a mirror of its partner that was selected first. This works with lines, circles, ellipses, and arcs. Here you can see the collinear constraint lining up the edges of this rectangle with the x and y axes. Sketch constraints can be used between a feature and another feature above it in the Design Explorer. Generally, newer items are automatically added below older items in the Design Explorer as they are created. Here a circle is created and made concentric to a hole in a feature above it in the Design Explorer. In this example, a rectangle is sketched and made collinear to the edges of another feature above it in the Design Explorer. This constraints overview has introduced you to the concept of constraints and provided you with an idea of how valuable and useful constraints are when solid modeling is used to design 3D parts and assemblies. You have gained a basic understanding of the value of sketch constraints. You have discovered how they provide location accuracy, relation accuracy, symmetrical accuracy, and many other benefits. You have also learned that some sketch constraints are used to apply relationships between figures. For example, perpendicular, tangent, parallel, and equal size. While other constraints are applied to individual figures, including those that control a figure's orientation for example, horizontal or vertical, and dimension.